Y torque and angle. Sturdivant Richmont now has two digital torque and angle wrenches. In 2017, we introduced the 1250 series Exacta digital torque and angle wrench. This wrench is the flagship of the Sturdivant Richmont line. Equipped with a radio, it's part of the Global 400 and Global 400 MP torque controller wireless airproofing systems. In 2018, we released the DTC digital torque wrench. The DTC has functionality similar to the 1250 series, but is not equipped with the radio. Why two digital torque and angle wrenches? In a nutshell, torque and angle provides greater accuracy than does torque alone. Why? One reason is that as much as 90% of torque can be used to overcome friction. That means as little as 10% of torque is being used to create clamp load. Torque has long been a cost-effective way of estimating clamp load. As assemblies have become more complex and critical joints are recognized, a more accurate and reliable way to determine clamp load is needed. That's especially true with hydraulic connectors where thread alignment is critical to preventing leaks. What makes torque and angle more accurate? First, angle reduces the effect of friction. There's a formula that looks at several factors including thread pitch, thread mean radius, as well as torque. Once snug torque, where the two planes come together, is established, you can measure degrees of fastener rotation. Factoring in the thread pitch and the thread mean radius more accurately determines how much tension the fastener is producing. You can also identify where the fastener begins to yield. In this video, Sturdivant Richmond Vice President of Sales Don Reinertsen walks you through practical application of torque and angle monitoring. In this video, he uses an Exacta 1250 series digital torque and angle wrench. But the functionality of the all-new DTC is identical, except that the DTC does not have a radio. So it doesn't communicate with a wireless airproofing torque controller. There are different formulas or methods of using torque and angle measurements. Here's Don to discuss torque and angle monitoring. One of the things about rubber hydraulic connections is the operator can never tell if the hose was cut too short. He really has no reference point to look at it. And what I've done is I've taken a washer stack and they all look about the same, but the operator doesn't have something to compare it to. Um, but I have these washers set up to be a soft joint. And if a rubber, and what I'm going to do is identify that this is a softer joint than the other two that are set up for it. The thing about a rubber tube is you don't know if it's cut too short. If you can get it connected to the threads, you're going to start tightening it. You'll reach torque, but maybe with way too much angle, which means that the hydraulic fitting is probably going to leak. So the idea of using torque and angle monitoring can do two things. Um, one, it can detect if an operator tries to tighten something twice. And it can also detect if a joint condition isn't what's anticipated for that. The final torque va the final values we're looking for is torque. We're just using angle to help error proof and give us a different view of the joint that we're tightening. So in this case here I'm going to pull up to around 11 newton meters, 11.26. We got nine degrees of turn. Second joint I'm going to tighten up. And I'm going to reach my target of 11 newton meters. And I did that within 10 degrees of turn. And let's just say if by accident I, I try to retighten it, it's going to tell me there was no turn and you reached torque, which indicates that you're trying to tighten the same fastener twice. Now here's the example where you really can't tell that the the condition of the joint has changed by looking at it, but as I apply torque to this, I haven't reached my target and I have too much angle, which is indicating to me that at least in a hydraulic um, fitting application, I haven't sealed the fitting. 
All I've done is I've used the torque to pull the fitting together. But I haven't sealed the, the fitting with it. And if I try to fix it as the operator and say, well, I'll just, I didn't get enough torque on it, because of the torque with angle monitoring and wanting to see at least three degrees of turn before I reach torque, it rejects me. Unless the joint was really, really, really soft. And there you have it. Accurate. Reliable. Durable. Tools you trust. From the engineering minds at Sturdivant Richmond.